In lesson 8, we're going to finish talking about editing text. We'll put to and from addresses at the top of our letter. I'll show you how to insert a line break instead of a paragraph break. We'll insert a horizontal line in our document. And we'll learn the difference between ignore and ignore all when it comes to spell check. Now that we have the closing on our letter, there's some stuff we forgot at the top of the letter, right? We don't have the to and from address. So let's use our scroll bar and go up to the very top of the letter. I'm just scrolling up here. I want to insert some stuff in front of Dear Mr. Schwartz and Offer. So I'm going to click there in front of the word Dear and press Enter a couple of times. Enter, Enter. That'll give me some blank lines at the very top of my document. And I can use the arrow keys, the up and down arrow keys, to move up and down. So I'll use the up arrow key to move back up to the top of the document. Now let's type in our return address at the very top of the document. Richard Rost, Amicron Computing. Now I'm looking at this as I'm typing it, and I'm getting a paragraph break between each line, which has a lot of extra space around it. So what I'm going to use instead of a paragraph break is what's called a line break. I'm going to backspace over that. Let's get rid of that. And instead of pressing Enter after my name, I'm going to press Shift Enter. That means hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and then press Enter. Notice how that gives us a little bit less of a break there. It's called a line break. It's not a whole paragraph. It's just I want a new line of text. So now I'll continue typing in the name of my company, PCResale.net, shift enter, my address, 123 Main Street, shift enter, Buffalo, New York, 14202. And no, this is not a real address, so don't mail me anything. I'm going to press enter after my return address. And wouldn't it be nice to insert a solid horizontal line right here? Watch this trick. I'm going to just press the hyphen button, hyphen, those are dashes, dash, 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 a bunch of times, and then press enter. And look at that. Microsoft Word converts that line of hyphens into a solid horizontal line all the way across the page. That's one of those neat autocorrect options that we're going to study more in a future class. Let's continue now by pressing Enter and typing in the recipient's address. So we have Mr. William Schwarzenhofer, S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-E-N-N-H-O-F-F-E-R. -E -E Shift, Enter. Oh, now look what happened. Microsoft Word is telling me that that name is spelled incorrectly. Notice down here I only spelled it with one N. And up here, I spelled it with two N's, so be careful of that. I'll click right in here, press Delete to get rid of one of those N's, and then click down below. Oh, now wait a second. It's still showing as misspelled. Why is that? Well, before, when I right-clicked on Shorts and Offer, I just picked Ignore. That means ignore only this word. Had I picked Ignore All, it would have ignored all instances of that word for the remainder of this document. So now I'm going to pick Ignore All, and any time Word sees Schwarzenoffer, spelled that way, in the document, it will ignore it as a misspelling. So that's a major difference between Ignore and Ignore All. Let's finish Mr. Schwarzenoffer's address. P.O. Box 555, Shift Enter. Amherst, New York, 14226. Now all we need is to put the date in here. I'll press Enter, and then Enter again. And I'll type in July 1st, comma, 2009. Notice Word corrected the first and superscripted the ST. Again, that's an autocorrect option that we'll talk about later.